Okay, now let's add a toggle button to our form. So a toggle button looks like this. It just it just looks like that. It's a button. And let's uh, change this. Let's change some properties on this toggle button. So I'm gonna call this uh, the name of it. I'm gonna change the name to toggle button underscore model on off let's say you're you work at some company and you're doing some calculation some mathematical calculation and as part of as part of the calculation you can either have one you can have a setting for something to be on or off and I, I won't even do the model I'll just put toggle button on off and let's change the caption to on let's change the back color to something like blue let's change the font down here to something like bold and 24 and I guess I should make the text something a little bit more meaningful than just on Let's do uh, model on. Let me change the font a little bit. So all a toggle button is like a true false. It's like a switch. And you either want the switch on or you want the switch off. And I, you know, this is a very generic example. Let me move this down here. And let's run this now. So when I run it, watch what happens. When I click the toggle button, it looks like it's depressed. You could tell that it's clicked. You know, you see the difference in coloring? That's all a toggle button does. you get the idea that it's sort of like just an on off switch so what we can do is do something like this um, let's double click this double click the toggle button and we'll do something like this if toggle button on off dot value is equal to model on then else and if what we want to do is when you click the toggle button I want to tell you if the model is on or off so if you click it and the value is on then I'm going to oops I'm going to do this dot caption I'm gonna change the caption to say model is off and if you click it when the value is off, then I'm going to change the caption to say the model is now on. So now let's run this again and see what happens. When I click it, uh, I see what's happening. Let me double click this the value of the toggle button is either true or false it's not a, it's not the text of the caption so if the value is true that means you pressed it I'm gonna say the model is off else it's gonna be on so let's see if we run this if I run it do you see what's happening now when I click it, the caption is changing. Model on, model off, model on, model off, model on, model off. So by default, it pops up, the model is on, whatever the model is, like some, and I, I guess I shouldn't call it model. Um, let me change it to switch. Switch off, 
switch on go up here change the caption to switch on so if the value is true that means if the value is pressed then change the caption to say switch off and that's what I'm gonna put in comments here if the toggle is pressed change the to switch off I should put depressed that means it's like pressed in and if the toggle is unpressed change it to switch on so I can go to my worksheet now and go switch on off and go into go into the code for the button and do something like this um, I could do cells x row comma 7 that value is equal to toggle button underscore on off but here I'm gonna put the, whatever the caption is so when we run this I'm gonna put whatever this caption is onto the worksheet so if I run this now with like Joe and I'll put great and I'll put 125 pounds, 27 pounds, and I'll I'll press that down so that the switch is off, and then I'll do enter data and close. And notice the switch on off column says switch off. So that's all the toggle button is. It's like a switch, like a light switch. You either turn it on or you turn it off. And and you could do things when it's turned on or off like when you double click it you can write code and in this case I'm I double clicked it and I got into this toggle on off underscore click that allows me to write code when the toggle is clicked in this case I'm just changing the caption when it's clicked and then I'm putting that caption onto the worksheet so very straightforward the toggle button is not complex it's just an on off switch in the next video, uh, we'll look at, we'll add a picture to the user form, and that's coming up.